I think the city is in great um, financial shape. Um, over the past two years, two budgets, um, actually in the, in the four uh, years that the mayor has been in office, we were able to decrease taxes 1.79% overall. Um, we've paid back uh, nearly $2 million of the $3.3 million that we've owed toward deficit financing while also maintaining um, quality of life and doing improvements around Olean. Um, we spent a um, considerable amount of money on two road improvements in the city. Uh, several streets have been repaved and resurfaced. Uh, that is a huge um, benefit to the taxpayers of the city. And um, I think that we're in, you know, in great shape. We've, we've done the city parks, uh, four of them. We've also um, put money into the recreation center, uh, Bradner Stadium, of course. And um, so those are some really great things that are happening around the city. So I'm proud um, to be able to be a part of that. Uh, I'm also proud to be able to you know, keep fiscal responsibility. Um, I give a lot of credit to the administration and the department heads, of course, um, for their control of spending in the department so that we're able to get these projects done and show the taxpayers what their money is going towards. I'm running again because I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I enjoy um, helping the taxpayers. I enjoy uh, getting their feedback and their concerns, uh, their comments. I enjoy being a part of seeing the city move forward. And I plan on being here for you know, many, many years to come as we, my husband and I have a young daughter and uh, we plan on being here. So I want to keep only in moving in the right direction and keep the quality of life to the level where we want to stay here and we don't want to move away. Of course, number one is uh, the East State Street Reconstruction pro uh, Project, as well as the water and sewer lines, um, you know, for the project and the slip lining of the sewer lines on Garden Avenue. Uh, that was one of the biggest concerns that I heard when I campaigned. I knew it's always been a problem and I was lucky and fortunate to be able to fight really hard and push for some grant money and we received that grant money so i could not be happier with the job it's complete it's finished uh, i have heard from several businesses and residents along that area that uh, are extremely thrilled with the project and couldn't be happier that we got it done in the time frame we did um, you, of course there were some bumps and bruises but we got through them through them and um, so that's one of my, my number one accomplishments. That's one thing I campaigned upon last year, uh, two years ago was the East State Street project. And I knew it was a tall order, but I was confident that I would be able to do whatever I could do um, to see that, that East State Street got the necessary attention it deserves. The other accomplishments that I'm proud of is, you know, the five year capital plan. Uh, worked extremely hard with the administration on creating a plan that is fluid, it's tangible, uh, it can be changed, but it lays out for the council uh, what projects need to be looked at going forward. Instead of just picking one here or there, it's, it's all the projects are laid out on the paper. Every single thing is out there for people to look at and prioritize. And that's something we haven't done in years past. And things have been forgotten. Um, so it it's, it's makes it easier for aldermen to be able to do their jobs and work with the department heads to ask questions and where certain projects are on the list. Um, things can be changed, things can be moved, um, but ultimately, you know, that is another accomplishment that I'm proud of and proud to be a part of. Um, of course, there are many, many more, you know, the parks um, that we redid. It's so uh, rewarding to see children and families enjoying the parks and having a good time living across the street from one it makes me smile every time I see kids over there, you know, playing and laughing with their families. And this summer was a huge success with that um, in Warbats Park. Uh, I'm excited to be able to fund Bradner Stadium and bring bigger um, events to this to the stadium, such as the Olean, Olean Oilers um, and many other events that will be held there. So it's a really exciting time in the city right now. So the next two years, there are several uh, different items that are that I'm looking at uh, first and foremost is uh, we have a group a small group that we've uh, heard back from with the housing um, rehabilitation uh, committee so to speak and addressing some 
uh, you know, deteriorating properties in the city of Olean. That's something I'm really excited to be able to work with the public um, about because we know it's an issue. It's something that I tried to tackle a couple years ago and it's something that still needs to be addressed and I will remain dedicated to that project as well. Um, other item, you know, other things going forward is obviously to continue uh, seeing road projects um, come to fruition. I know two major road projects that uh, constituents are concerned of and that is Prospect Avenue and York Street. Those are two main um, roads that need to be looked at and we're currently in the process of surveying those roads and getting a price on that. Uh, so that's really exciting and um, we know that that's going to be um, an in-depth project such as East State was on Prospect Avenue, uh, but it's something that needs to be addressed. So that's something I'm going to work hard to continue to see that that gets funded and gets complete uh, and done the right way. Uh, so hopefully next year <clears throat> we can possibly see Prospect Avenue uh, get the attention that it deserves as well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, going forward, just continue with the capital plan and uh, we know that some constituents, you know, want to see some, some different things, um, you know, happen. Other parks, you know, need attention. Uh, you know, giving, showing, knowing that we have a surplus in the city and being able to be fiscally responsible and, and put the money in the right place to give back the quality of life to the residents of the city is important. I've heard a lot of feedback from the residents saying, wow, it's nice to see um, you know, what, what our tax dollars, um, you know, we're using that for. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the completion of Bradner Stadium, which will be next year. And hopefully uh, we have some grants that are into the uh, state for the locker rooms and the bathrooms over there. So hopefully we'll hear some good news on that. Um, two other projects that we're looking at was continuing the trail uh, from the center of town in West State over to East State Street in uh, that area over there uh, to this, you know, uh, East View School and things like that so that we can get east side of only and connected to the trail. Um, and then the other project is to make it safer for kids to walk across um, behind the rec center where the trussle is on the, rain, the railroad tracks. It's a big safety issue over there. So we also have a grant in for that to um, be able to pave that one section of the railroad where there's no actual rail on the railroad.